Have you ever exited a trade just because the market was pulling back? Maybe you've been holding this trade for a couple of hours or maybe just for a couple of minutes and then all of a sudden you're looking at the market and then the market starts pulling back and because you have this anxiety over the trade not working, you end up exiting the trade. Then shortly after you exit this trade, the market actually reverses and starts moving in your direction. The direction you had actually expected the market to go into when you actually opened the trade. This is a struggle that most retail traders fall trap into. I've been there. I know how it is. I know how it feels. And in this video, I am actually going to share a tool with you that can help in managing your emotions firstly but secondly in managing your expectations of the trade that you are currently in right so going back to this diagram that i have right in right in front of you the reason i pull this diagram up is because it is showing you a process right essentially a process that i follow it all starts with fundamental analysis understanding the direction and then it moves all the way to technical analysis right then finally you get to the forex sentiment which is the trade management tool and this is the exact tool that i'll be breaking down in terms of how you can use it to manage your expectations of the trade that you are currently in right so this will work Granted that you are very clear on your fundamental direction and you are very clear on your technical analysis you, you 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 if you are in a buy position you bought low if you are in a sell position You actually sell sold at a higher price This is when this trade management tool will be very effective in that in that instance, right? So obviously there is a video that I've done uh, Previously where I went over this tool in depth and I'm just gonna link that video up on the top right corner then I'm just going to give you a, a brief summary on this Forex sentiment tool, right? So essentially what this tool is, it shows us the percentage of retail buyers versus retail sellers, right? And then based on statistics, we all know that 85 to 90% of retail traders lose, which means that most retail traders lose money, right? And that means that if we have a trade management tool that actually shows us the percentage of retail buyers and sellers that means that to a certain extent we can have an idea of where the majority of retail traders are actually positioned whether they're buying or whether they're selling and based on the st statistics if the majority of retail traders are buying then that probably means that price should be going lower and if they're selling that probably means that price should be going higher so where does this actually fit into the whole picture of you of managing your trade expectations or your expectations about the trade that you are currently in so to illustrate this example we are actually going to look at this trade that i'm currently in right now which is gbp nzd so i've been in this trade since the beginning of uh, october right essentially around the what yeah around towards the end of september beginning of october essentially that is when i've been in this trade i've already take to like closed partial profits on it uh but i'm still holding i'm still in this position and one of the reasons why i'm still holding like i said i have a very clear fundamental bias fundamental direction and my entry was fairly good right in terms of the fact that i i was able to buy low so that is why one of the reasons why i'm still holding on to this position but now going back to the actual idea of how to incorporate this tool this trade management tool into your trading so now if we go back to the actual diagram here and now let us go to the actual forex sentiment so you can find this trade this trade management tool on my i call it the trade management tool right it's just a tool on on my fx book but i call it a trade management tool so now what you can clearly see is that i'm on gbp nzd and this is the forex sentiment right so what I can clearly see is that 77% of retail traders are actually short or well positions or, or, or accounts that are actually on my FX book. 77% of them are actually selling and only 23% is actually buying the, 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 the GBP NZD uh, currency pay, right? And then if we're going to scroll a bit uh, or, go, or scroll go down lower in terms of our scrolling, uh, okay, 
where it's no longer showing here uh, okay they they actually used to have some sort of like a disclaimer where they where they say that this is based on position or uh, based on uh, uh, on open positions on accounts that are that are actually on my fx book they actually don't have it here anymore right but essentially that's what i just wanted to show you guys but in essence you can clearly see that it says 77 of of the forex traders are currently going short with gbp nzd with an average price of that price meanwhile 23 percent are going long so now going back to what i said if you understand that based on statistics this is not something i'm making up this is based on statistics majority of retail traders lose so it means that now if i am in a trade because remember the first question i asked you is have you ever exited a trade prematurely in essence right and then later on to see that the trade the trade actually or the market reverses and start moving in your direction again but you've already closed your position and yes you closed out in profits but then you exited prematurely you you, you essentially did not stick or follow through on the plan that you had for your trade so this is how i use this trade management tool so if i'm in a position and i'm seeing that price is pulling back i assess what is happening with the sentiment here right so as an example if we go back to the gbp nzd trade that i have here you can clearly see that price went up and then it has been moving sort of choppy moving sideways for a couple of days right uh well this is the 12 hour time frame so for a couple of yeah essentially for a couple of days it has been moving sideways and only now is it sort of like pushing higher again but in essence during this consolidative period or dur during the sideways movement period of course i was clued up on the fundamentals one of the one of the one of the the, the fundamentals that actually contributed to the sideways movement was when we got the, the 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 uk cpi where we saw that inflation headline inflation actually fell below the two percent target right which obviously started increasing uh dovish bets for for the bank of england but then once again like i said to the members that this is more headline inflation is more like a an overall generalized inflation it's not like core inflation which gives you more of a clearer picture of the domestic demand right in terms of the demand from the from the economy which is what monetary policy essentially works on because if you remember oil prices have been falling so that is definitely going to have a drag on the headline inflation because headline inflation takes into account energy prices as well but core inflation excludes energy as well as volatile items like food right so that was just to give you guys an idea of that yes there were fundamentals that were actually contributing to the sideways movement but also how i manage my expectations of the trade not to exit this trade because i'm still in this trade was the fact that i used the forex sentiment tool and when i saw that okay what we are seeing at that time what we are seeing is the fact that we had almost equal short positions and long positions so what does that mean or what does that tell me that tells me that i should manage my expectations of the trade and i should not expect this trade to start moving away in my intended direction because it's almost equal in terms of the positions if we if the numbers here were flipped and we had 77 percent long and 23 percent short then i would not be panicking if i see gbp nzd start to fall or start to pull back why because the majority of retail traders were are also buying but in this instance we can clearly see that 77 percent are short so this now also helps in managing my expectation that okay most probably gbp nzd should start pushing higher right but this obviously like i said it works efficiently and effectively if you have a clear framework where you have solid fundamental analysis understanding for your direction looking at the macroeconomics and then if you had a good entry where you were able to buy low or if you were selling where you were able to sell high at a premium price right those are the main prerequisite for the forex sentiment uh, tool to actually work good for you or to be effective uh, when you are actually what when you are actually implementing it because if i had bought around this area here which is essentially buying high then on this pullback then i would have obviously been what been fearful and most probably panicked and exited also that would have what that wouldn't have me that confidence to actually hold because i know that i did not enter at the most ideal price right so all of this obviously goes with 
more preparation on the fundamentals and the technical analysis. But this is just the tool that I wanted to share with you that if you've been struggling in terms of exiting your trades prematurely, even exiting your trades in a loss, because the market just just went below your entry. If you're in a buy position and the market just went below your entry, it has not yet triggered your stop loss, but then you start having so much anxiety about taking a loss and you end up just cutting the trade, right? If that is what you are currently experiencing, then this trade management tool might be of benefit to you, right? Because for me, it has definitely helped in managing my expectation of the trade. So if price is falling and I'm aware of what is happening fundamentally and I look at the, uh, the Forex sentiment and it's also confirming that price should be pulling back, then I'm not fearful. I don't have any anxiety of what the, about what the market is doing. I stay in my trade, I stay in my position, right? But predominantly because I have a clear understanding of the fundamentals or the macroeconomics that are actually driving that specific uh, currency or economy. And then secondly, as in last thing in closing, is to also accepting that trading is long-term in its nature. I have accepted that and that gives me what? The conviction and the ability to actually hold and stay in my positions quite longer. As long as the fundamentals support that, as long as we cle we clearly seeing that Forex sentiment as a trade management tool, because that is not a trade entry tool or a trade selection tool, it's a trade management tool. Only when I'm in a position do I then start focusing and using the Forex sentiment uh, tool from my FX book, right? So if you found value from this video, um, you can obviously watch the next video that is definitely going to pop up on screen shortly. So guys, I'm going to see you in the next video.